Hey everyone, um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Emma and I'm the editor-in-chief of The Prince. Um, as we wrap up our publication uh, for this semester, I wanted to um, address you all in a letter from the editor uh, with a message of encouragement. There's one prevailing feeling for me personally this semester. It's a complete and utter loss of control. You know, COVID has taken away my ability to see my family. I feel like my academic performance is slipping and no matter how hard I try, I feel like I can't control it. And even as the leader of the prince, I feel like so much of what happens is so often completely out of my control. You know, I know we tell ourselves that, you know, grades don't matter, GPA doesn't define me. But deep down, I think, at least for me personally, um, I still struggle with the prospect of failing. And I feel like, you know, whether or not I succeed is no longer something I can actually control. And as I've been feeling this, I've really started to redefine what I think of as success. As a classics major, I'm a huge fan of ancient Stoic thought. And the basis of Stoicism is that you should only worry about what is immediately in your control. The things that are not in your control, it's not worth, it's not worth your time to worry about. And you only have so much control over your GPA and your grades and your academic achievement. There are a lot of factors that go into those um, that's beyond pure drive and the will to succeed. But what you do have immediate control over is how you treat yourself and how you treat those around you. And for me, if I can remember that, I will consider myself a success. And in that vein, you know, I've been thinking a lot about why I'm at Princeton in the first place and you know, like what, what my goal is here. As a first year, you know, I think I would have said that my goal is to learn, um, to learn how to engage critically and how to better myself academically. Now I think I would say something quite different. I think that Princeton for me, um, the goal is recognizing my own humanity and the humanity of those around me. You know, we, we should and we, we can take pride in our work. The work and the research that we're doing is changing the world. But as future leaders who are working to better this world, what is all of this work, you know, without empathy and respect for ourselves and the people that we serve? Sure, we've got grades, we've got JPs and theses, but what does that matter if we can't treat, our, treat each other and more importantly, ourselves with respect? Engaging with the world is not just about engaging critically or engaging academically, it's about engaging empathetically. And I think that that's my goal at Princeton. You know, Princeton has a lot of flaws, but ultimately it's composed of people. You know, before we're students or faculty or administration or alumni, we are people. And as we move through exams and, you know, towards the end of the semester and into the summer, I really, really want us to remember that because that's what success is. It's treating yourself and the people around you with respect and empathy. So with that, good luck. You've got this. Grades do not measure your success. And I will see you next semester.